Hi, this is Shadi and since my Khabib video was very well received, I figured I'd do a similar video but on the man who started it all, Hoist Gracie. Now I know technically there are MMA organizations back in the 80s in Japan but I'm gonna talk about the West. Now I know some of you have asked for others like Fedor and Kayla Harrison and trust me I will get to the, all of those but I figured that first I should do uh, an analysis of the man who started it all and I figured Hoist Gracie is a very classical grappler uh, he went with his gi uh, to the octagon and fought and showed what judo can really do and I figured that an analysis is pretty much needed so let's begin so today we're going back to 1993 and see how Hoist did everything uh, he was very famous with the kick and then going shooting for the legs and here uh, he took down his opponent with a kusotogake upon the cage I've discussed this technique but we're gonna see it again so let's see he shoots he hooks outer on the outer leg and spins down and take his opponent down for a rear naked choke we're gonna see all of that so the first one is the kusotogake upon the cage you hook you go outside you hook the leg and you spin out down to the ground now kosotogake usually it's you take your opponent straightly forward but since this was an octagon and there was a cage behind his opponent uh, Hoyce had to spin to the side while doing his kosoto like this example right here so the first one is kosotogake major outer uh, sorry minor outer uh, hook if you want to call it um, very basic judo and Hoist a truly mastered that takedown in it and the second is if you didn't see my Khabib video is shooting on the legs Hoist would flinch and faint by kicking the, the knee and shooting for the leg it's morote gari uh, meaning reaping with both hands it can be from single and double and like the body lock and going down forward it's all technically considered morote gari because you are still reaping with both hands it doesn't matter what you grab uh, here is a feint from Iponse Oenage you feint with it and then go down and shoot for the legs so if you didn't see my Khabib video I talked about this it can also be a single leg it can also be a body lock forward so here again I sip a pensionage but this time they are spinning to the other side and going for the takedown also a single leg is considered a morotegari as I have explained but here you can clearly see it they are shooting for one leg and spearing almost forward and rolling in order to avoid the guard and finally he finished with a hadakajime or the rear naked choke hadakajime has way too many variations here this one uh, you saw probably Khabib hold Connor with it but it was on the jaw and popping the jaw almost so you can also restrict blood flow to the head with how Khabib did it but also put pressure on the jaw so it's a very dangerous one here the traditional rear naked choke that we see in gi no gi and in MMA and all sorts of competitions here from the back mount as you hook the leg you clasp your hands and apply the rear naked choke so here you can see it as your opponent is on all fours you can also apply a rear naked choke all judo variations what judo is special is uh, you can have many uh, like a small variation in the technique it becomes suddenly a whole new technique but also each technique has many variations it's kind of paradoxical but also true for some reason when it comes to chokes so here you can see if someone is going for north south uh, north south you can also apply it you can bring your forearm and your leg and lock the head and basically choke them so hadaka jime or a rear naked choke can be found from almost uh, anywhere and Hoist Gracie applied it while uh, his opponent tried to avoid the mount and turn this back and got caught so let's take a look at it shoots kosoto gake rear naked choke finished uh, classical but also very effective 
the second example again shooting here you can people might think he's going for an arm bar but he's actually uh, choking with the gi since the arm was not pretty extended so it's kind of like a bow and arrow choke it's called the okuri eri jime a classic in judo a white belt choke you can learn here's world champion krista de gucci brilliantly demonstrating the okuri eri jime uh, you hear you hook the leg grab your gi and just pull away as you choke with their gi classic and also very effective here's another example from a failed throw you can hook it up and you just start uh, rolling and you get your opponent uh, between your legs and you pull away and you choke with the gi again classic judo okuri erijime demonstrated by hoist when he failed with an armbar third example kicks shoots Try, guy tries to mount him, hoist pulls guard, hikikomi, kicks with the heel, tries to mount, uh, ground and pound, going to side control, eventually taking the back and rear naked choke. Again, basics will take you a very long way. So here, let's see a kosoto gake turned into uchimata sukashi. Here you can see a mount, a ground and pound, almost. Uh, Let's talk a little bit about the Tate Shiho Gatame or the mount. So Tate Shiho Gatame or simply put mount position is one of the fundamental positions of Katame Waza or grappling in Judo in Neiwaza on the ground and it has many variations just like any other technique. So here you can get like an arm triangle and then go up and mount. It's considered a pin unless you squeeze and choke someone with the arm triangle but this in judo world is considered a pin and you can win uh, by ippon or the osai komi the pin 20 seconds and it's uh, a full score or 10 and you can get a wazari so this is the first variation of the mount or the tate shiho gatame the second you might not get the arm triangle you can just simply lock the head and try to control the arms as well so Again, all these positions, the back mount, side control, uh, the mount, uh, guard, guard pulling, all that stuff, hikikomi, it's called the guard pulling, is all in the judo arsenal. So please, saying that they are put in a hierarchy doesn't magically make them uh, belong to the Gracies. Intellectual property, again, is very important. So please, stop with the hierarchy comments, I beg you. And here is, again, another now someone is trying for a grab you can just push away and lock the arms and the head and try to control your opponent in the mount it can also be uh you can use it as a choke position or a beginning position here you can go down and grab your belt and kind of apply like a guillotine uh, and also you cannot squeeze and just apply a pin if you feel like you are controlling your opponent since pins are valid in judo unlike jujitsu or mma and here you can make a great use of the gi by grabbing your own belt so you can see here someone's trying to escape the side control no neon belly just going straight up uh, the neon belly uh, i know it's one of the essentials and it's considered a very valuable tool and it hurts like hell but it can make you very unstable while you are trying to apply it. For example, Hickson in his course, the self-defense unit, uh, he, ha he shows many variations of getting to mount without the neon belly because he feels it's very unstable. Uh, here's another uh, mount. It's kind of like a diagonal mount, almost between like a side control and uh, mount, but it's still considered technically Tate Shiho Gatame. You are locking, you are blocking one hand uh, with your thigh and the other you you grab it so it's very uh, again very efficient another variation of the many variations of the mount all within the judo arsenal of techniques the katame waza or the osai kome waza in this case to be more specific katame is grappling and osai kome is pins so uh, osai kome falls under katame waza or under the grappling uh, umbrella if you want I know there's a lot of nomenclature to the techniques and there are so many things to memorize but this was how it was set up in order to be uh, made very clear so here the arm triangle again you can grab your own gi and just 
try to maintain and you put your hand down for support so as i've th as, as i've stated the mount is not just uh, a beginning point for uh, striking like ground and pound or submissions but also uh, a, a very good position to just really neutralize your uh, opponent or an aggressor in case of a police action this is what makes judo also very good for police here you can see how he turns his hips towards him and then immediately takes mount this is Hickson's preferred uh, transition from side control to mount not the knee on belly and again a classical uh, judo move in the arsenal of judo again the basics will take you a very long way here you can from back mount you can go into mount again judo classics japanese and the basics will take you a long way and they will make you a champ no matter their disciplines or the others and this is what hoist gracie proved and we are lucky that he did this however um the wrong message was sent uh, back in the day but uh going through archives and history uh, is good in order to clear uh things up another example is here someone's trying to grapple with hoist but eventually hoist gets the armbar from guard again a classical piece of judo ude hishigi juji gatame uh, or the arm lock in the form of a cross here from the guard you can get it from many uh position hooking the leg and eventually uh taking them down on their back many variations to the arm bar from guard here you can get almost like a triangle but then switching legs over in order to lock it and then hooking the leg in order to take them down and lock it and get the tap so again another classical piece the basics will take you a very long way um, in all sorts of competition i'm sure if hickson was a 30 year old and he has the uh, grappling assets or the grappling capability he would go in and use the basics in the in mma because keep in mind when he was competing he was already old considered to the young ones today so the basics will take you a long way here again kick uh, gosoto and okuri erijime but the bow and arrow but this time facing down uh, again this is another variation of the uh, bow and arrow choke here is world champion chris Tadiguchi doing it hooking staying face down uh, with her uh, opponent and getting the tap so uh, good judo old judo uh, basic judo can take you a very long way and uh, again, it's one of the best arsenal you can have is mastering the basics. So if you enjoyed this video, please let me know down below if you have anything else to add. Again, please share it down below. Uh, it's nice to go back in the past and see what kind of arsenal they had and the basics, as I've mentioned, they take you a very long way. This was Shadi and thank you for listening.